What is up, YouTube? I know it's been a minute, man. I've been meaning to upload a video, honestly, for a while, but I wasn't able to do it because a lot of life circumstances were happening. The last 45 days of my life have been absolutely insane. I've lost literally thousands of dollars, time, and just life has been so crazy the last couple of weeks. Um, I'm just happy to get over with, right? Um, I was actually trying to upload a video last week, but I ended up getting sick and bad cough to the point where I couldn't talk straight without coughing. And actually, I'm, I'm still sick and I still need to cough. And then I actually ended up having the flu where I missed two days of work last week. And it sucks, man. <laughs> but I'm here. Let's get to what I really want to talk about. So a couple of weeks ago, I met with this senior engineer. And we were just talking, you know, he's not from my company, he's from a different company. What's really interesting is that he told me that when he was actually interviewing people for his company, he told me that he would ask them, give me some names of people you look up to and why. And he told me that people actually started mentioning my name, Chris Sean. And he was like, who the heck is Chris Sean? <laughs> and to hear that actually blew my mind away because here I am, just a mid-level developer, and I don't think I'm the best one out there at all. Yeah, so he wanted to meet, and we met because of that. And he was really interested to see what it is that I knew and what I didn't know. And so we ended up talking for a while. He was asking me a lot of questions, challenging questions, and I wasn't able to answer many of them. And it was really embarrassing because, you know, people are going to this guy and saying that they look up to me. And when he's asking these questions, they can't answer it. It's like... People are raising me to this level, but this senior engineer is starting to realize, well, this guy's really like at this level. You can't even see it. Like you can't even see his hand. Really humbling. And I remember just immediately apologizing to him for saying, yeah, I'm sorry. Like I just, I guess I really don't know as much as I need to know when it comes to, it was really humbling. And one thing he told me was like, Chris, like, like it's technologies you're working with now are, you know, like everyone needs to know them. And that's true. But you really need to push forward that much more. You really have to make sure to understand the deep things of JavaScript. Where even if I ask you these basic things about JavaScript, you don't necessarily need Google to answer them. But they just become second nature. And the questions you ask me are things that you would be actually asked on an interview to get a developer job at one of those bigger companies. And I was so mad at myself because I love JavaScript so much, but I didn't push myself enough to get to that certain level. It was humbling. Pretty much what he said is, Chris, you need to push and keep up with the new technologies because let's say if you were to get laid off, let's say you would lose your job, it would be really hard to get a new job. Now, fortunately, people reach out to me all the time, but just to hear that from someone that level and from a person like that who heard people raise me up and talk about me in a certain way. And then you know what's really interesting is that there are junior developers applying to jobs literally all around the country and these people right, who work with these junior developers say that they bring my name up and then they contact me and they talk to me. That's crazy. But I think one thing that's really terrifying is that that was honestly like, I was letting that get to my head. And I never thought I was good in the first place, but I think subconsciously I thought, you know what, I'm all right, I'm okay, I'm comfortable. But in reality, I was stagnant and that's really scary. And so this is what I mean by saying I ruined my web developer career without even realizing it because Let's say I lost my job. Let's say, let's say the company shut down or something happened, right? How easy would it be for me to get a new job? How much in demand would I really be, right? How much in demand would I really be if I needed to get a new job right away? And the truth is, I wouldn't be in much demand at all. And I got so mad at myself when I realized this. I got so scared because I realized I need to step it up. The scary thing is that even before this conversation, one thing I noticed about myself is that my drive to really learn code, to become as best as I could be, went away. My interest in learning technologies went away. In other words, you could say I was burned out and that was scary. I would have to really push myself to learn code. But, and I would get mad at myself thinking maybe this isn't for me. And that's why I honestly, one of the main reasons I stopped making videos is because I wasn't as passionate about code as I used to be. And I was wondering, what is my problem? What is wrong with me? And then one thing I, I noticed too, is that even my interest in video games started going away. Not even that, and I love games, right? My interest in making YouTube videos started going away. Uh, not even that, my interest in just things with my church, with my friends, with my family started going away. And I started noticing, I'm just losing interest in everything. And I also started noticing that like I was more tired often. 
when I, I would I would get full nine hours of sleep, right? Go straight to work, and I'd be fatigued and exhausted the whole day, even though I had a full night of sleep. I just kept thinking, man, I'm just so lazy. What is wrong with me? I'll get so mad at myself, so discouraged. Like, I love what I do. I know it. I do this because I love it. But why do I have no energy anymore? What is going on with me? Why is it that even when I go to work, my interest isn't there as much as it used to be anymore? Why is it that even when I go to work, there are some times when it's so hard for me to focus? So hard. And, and I know everyone has to like warm up when you go to work and get into focus. But there have been times when it's just really difficult where I'm staring at a screen and everything literally becomes a blur and I just had no idea what's going on and so now this will bring me into what I actually really want to talk about I started noticing that all these things that were happening to me is actually not normal and it must be something else. So I, you know, I ended up meeting with a doctor and telling him all my symptoms and what's going on. I still can't believe I'm talking about this right now. Um, yeah. So by a professional, you know, I was diagnosed with something, um, with something called a, <coughs> a severe depression or a major depression. Uh, and it was really scary um, hearing those words um, come out of my doctor's mouth because I'm telling you this, man, like, I'm living my dream. I get to do what I love for a living. I get to make videos for a living. I get to have my dog. I have everything I could ever wanted. I have my brand new own. I have my own one bedroom apartment all to myself. Google Fiber, everything, right? And I feel like I have everything I could ever want, which is true. And to hear a doc tell me that I have depression, I'm like, what the heck is it? Like, what is the de like depression? Like, I don't feel depressed. And I know there's a big stigma about this when it comes to the workplace or just people in general, well, they're thinking you're weak when you have this thing called depression. And the reason I could say that is because I thought the same way about other people who had have this. When I heard that a friend of mine has depression, I'm like, man, just be strong and push forward. It's just your thoughts, just change it, just fight it. But one thing I've learned ever since being diagnosed with it is that it's honestly something that's entirely out of your control. And it sucks because when I look at all the symptoms and when I speak to other people who actually have the same thing, they, they go through the exact same shit. Like there are times when I would wake up, but I can't get out of bed. Like, I just don't want to. I don't have a will to. And you guys know me. You look at my videos the last two or three years. How hard I work, how determined, how focused I am. Where I could, I will do whatever it takes to get the job done. I remember when I used to upload daily videos, I would stay up till 3 in the morning every day to end up a video and upload it for you guys. So I know what it takes and what it means and how to work hard. Well, within the last couple of months, I just couldn't do that anymore. And I thought maybe... It's because code's not for me, but no, it was because of this thing called depression. And it sucks because it does affect me at work. It does affect my life outside of work, my friendships, my relationships, me and my family. Like yesterday after work, I went straight to bed like at 7.30 p.m. I didn't wake up till 7 a.m. the next day, this morning, thinking, all right, now I have a lot of energy. <laughs> and then when I went to work today, I started to feel fatigued, really exhausted, like I had no sleep. It was getting hard to focus again. And so I just went to lunch right away. Went home, took a 30 minute nap because I felt so tired. And it's not food coma, I wasn't eating anything unhealthy. Went back to work, felt really tired. And so I just took a lap, made a lap around the building, woke up a little bit more and was able to get my projects done. I guess what I'm just really trying to say is that depression is real and it has really taken control of my life. And it was destroying my career. It was destroying my life to be honest, and it sucks so much. But one thing that I'm really thankful for is the fact that I was able to understand why I was being a certain way. It's not that I fell out of love with code. It's not that I am lazy because I know what it takes to work. I got to where I am for a reason because I know what it means to work hard. I know what it means to focus, to do whatever it takes to get the job done right. And it's not because I'm lazy that it's something that's completely out of my control and I have no control over. But 
now that I know what it is, that's not my fault. And I don't feel this guilt anymore in me because I'm such a perfectionist and I want to give my all to everything. So now that I know that's not all completely my fault, whenever I feel a certain way, I know why and that I just need to simply ignore it. Which brings me to how I'm even able to make this video. When it comes to depression, when you look at something like a project, just the thought of it can overwhelm you. And it happens to me even at work sometimes. Just to make this video alone took so much effort, even though all I needed to do was turn on the camera. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna put this video up. I honestly don't even know, because I'm making, really making no sense right now. This is what pretty much destroyed, or was going to destroy my career as a web developer. But I'm glad that I found what the problem was and what I needed to do to fix it. What I need to do to focus harder and that when I do fail that I should not get on myself too hard but understand it's a disability that I have that's out of my control. But I just need to be able to wrap my mind around things that I can't control and just be able to push myself harder, man. It sucks. And, and like, I'm not explaining everything correctly. Like, it got to the point where I didn't care about anything anymore. But now, it's not because I don't care, it's just something I just need to fight. And so, to really challenge myself and keep myself accountable, to be able to vent more and to talk to you guys more, encourage you guys more, and it's really to share with you that I'm going through real struggles. I'm going through real hardships. Just because you finally make it in this industry, does that mean that your problems will go away? More problems will come up, but you just have to find a way to push through it, you know? I'm glad I didn't quit. I'm glad I didn't give up. I'm glad that I'm still here. And opening this up is terrifying. Because of that stigma in the world that they have against this, this, the stigma that the world has against depression. And I'll let you guys know it's real. And what, honestly, I, I, and I stopped making videos, and one thing that helped me the most was the fact that I was able to talk to you guys the last couple of years to share with you my life and they read all those encouraging comments you guys leave all the time helps so much but anyway to end this video what I want to share or end it with is don't be stagnant keep working hard make sure that you're really keeping up with the latest technologies that are really in demand do whatever it takes keep going but anyway that's just what I'm going through. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you made it to the end of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could let me know. And so I want to say thank you guys for watching. This is Krishan. This is the life of a developer. <laughs> and I'm out. Peace.